Very last, we would like to address a sh- to address a shubha. Very last, ya Juan, we would like to address a shubha, a doubt promoted by some individuals, either because of them being ignorant, and if they are ignorant, then they can be taught, inshallah, yuallamun. Or either because they are from the people of desires. And if this is their case, then يعني, what can be done with them? It is those who say, you all have double standards. If the detailed criticism takes place, then why don't you take the criticism of Sheikh Wasiullah Abbas, Hafidhullah, regarding Maktaba al Salafiyya and Abu Khadija Abdul Wahid? This is the shubha that they say. And I've heard it more than once. One time I heard it in Newark. One time I heard it in Camden. And maybe I heard it another time besides that. But this is the shubha that you find individuals, they say. So in response to this doubt, I say, first and foremost, as Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, he mentions in his lessons of the Wabit of Jarwat Ta'adil. He says, أن القاعدة الجرح مقدم على التعديل وقاعدة لا يقبل الجرح إلا مفسرا ليست على الإطلاق ففي حق من ثبتت عدالته وثقته لا يقدم الجرح المجمل على التعديل بل لا يلتفت إليه ولا يقبل إلا مفسرا وأما من لم تثبت عدالته وصدر فيه جرح فإنه يقدم مطلقا ولو كان مجملا وهذا مشروط إن صدر من عارف بأسبابه He says Sheikh Abdul Bukhari حفظه الله That the principle that the jarh takes precedence over the praise and the principle that the criticism is not accepted except if it is detailed then this affair is not unrestricted Rather the one whose adala whose trustworthiness and truthfulness have been, has been established, meaning upon the people of knowledge. A general criticism regarding them will not take precedence over a praise. As for the one whose trustworthiness and truthfulness has not been established, and he is criticized by a scholar, that criticism takes precedence absolutely, even if it was a general criticism, meaning not detailed, and this, if it, and this is if it comes from one who has knowledge of the reasons of jar criticism. Meaning what? We're going to explain this. It means that one cannot come and make a general statement of criticism against one, who, one whose adala, yani their trustworthy and truthfulness has been established amongst the scholars and is praised by them. Rather, any criticism against the, this type of person must be what? In detail. Also, the one whose adal is not established and not verified with the people of knowledge and the criticism comes regarding them from one knowledgeable of the affairs of jar, then it is accepted even if it is general. This, this principle is important. Why is this? Because if anyone can make a general statement of criticism against one whose adal has been already verified and established, then this leaves the door wide open for anyone to be spoken against and criticized. And this is what occurred with who? Falih al-Harabi. This is what occurred with Falih al-Harabi, who Sheikh Rabi Hafidhullah he criticized. As he would criticize those who their adala was established amongst the people of knowledge, but he failed to explain the reason of criticism. He would say, Fulan Hizbi, Fulan Muqtadi'ah, the one who was known for Sunnah. The one who was known amongst the Mashaykh for trustworthiness and truthfulness. The ulama, they did not accept that from him. Rather, they described this with al-ghulu, with extremism. So our brothers at Maktabat al-Salafiyya in Birmingham, they are muzakkun lada ahl ilm. They are praised amongst the scholars. From them, Sheikh Rabia, and Sheikh Ubaid, and Sheikh Muhammad ibn Hadi, al-Madkhali. So the general statement of Sheikh Wasiullah Abbas, Hafidhullah, for example, like knowledge isn't taken from them, or they are ignorant, 
It isn't accepted from him. This statement isn't accepted from him. Because this is a general claim whilst they have adala amongst the scholars. That's from one aspect. Imam Bukhari rahimahullah, he mentions in his book Juz al-Qira'a. He said, لَمْ يَنْجُوا كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ مِنْ بَعْضِ الْكَلَامِ فِيهِمْ وَتَنَاوُلُوا بَعْضِهِمْ فِي بَعْضٍ فِي الْعِرْضِ وَالنَّفْسِ وَلَمْ يلتفت, ولم يَلْتَفِتُوا إِذَالِكَ أَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ إِلَى ذَلِكَ أَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا بِبَيَانٍ أَوْ حُجَّةٍ وَلَمْ تَسْقُدْ عَدَالَتُهُمْ إِلَّا بِبَيَانٍ أَوْ حُجَّةٍ He says, Imam Bukhari, from the Imams of the Shan of Hadith, Many people have not escaped someone speaking ill of them, and people speaking about others regarding their honor and their person. The scholars did not turn to any of this speech, except if it is coupled with proofs and evidences, and their adala was not tarnished, except when there were proofs and evidences. So any general speech like this from Shaykh Wasiyallah, Hafidhullah, is not accepted. So a person may come and say, well Shaykh Wasiyallah, he clarified in detail the reason why they are criticized. He said, they speak about Jam'iyat Ahl Hadith, which is a Jam'iyah that began in Hind in India, an organization, and they have centers in England and other places around the world from that Green Lane Mosque, which is there in Birmingham. So one may say, yani, the Sheikh, he clarified, or he, he detailed this criticism. We also say in response to this Shubha, the scholars mention, Ya Akhwan, the conditions of when the criticism takes place over the praise. It has three conditions. An yakun mufassaran. Wa an yakun al jarh bima huwa jarih. Wa an la yarud hadha al jarh al mufassar min naqid akhar bi hujjat al mufassar akhar. Then number one, that the criticism must be detailed. And this was previously explained. Number two, that the criticism must be that which a person is criticized for. Because Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari he said, because when you ponder over some criticisms, in reality it's not a criticism. In Khatib al-Baghdadi, he brings a whole chapter in his book Al-Kifaya about those who are criticized with things things that doesn't necessitate a person being criticized. And the third condition they say, that another scholar who specializes in jarh, he's a naqid, that he does not refute that detailed criticism with another detailed proof. So after bringing these conditions, Ya Akhwan, in which the detailed jar criticism takes precedence over the praise, we say that the statement of Sheikh will see Allah, that the brothers in Salafi publications speak ill of Green Lane Mosque and Ahl Hadith, that Jam'iyya from, from Hind, and that they have centers in England, then this is, an, this is not a jar which is jarih. This is not a criticism which they can be criticized for. Why is this? Because they have Salaf in this. They have Salaf who preceded them in this. Because Sheikh Ubaid, he criticized this Jam'iyyah. And even Sheikh Muqbir, rahimahullah, he criticized this Jam'iyyah, this organization. So if this is clear, Ya Khwan, then inshallah, it will be clear to the seeker of truth that the Salafis do not have double standards as it relates to the detailed Jarrah. That was Sheikh Rabi criticized Tahir and Shadid. And before them, Abu Muslim of four and their likes are because of matters that go against the Salafi Aqeed and Manhaj. And we've heard something from that from the people of Naam. And we've heard something from that from the people of knowledge. Afwan. And let alone Sheikh Rabi being firmly grounded in this science. And we've heard something from that from the people of knowledge. On the contrary, that which Sheikh Wasi Allah said about our brothers in Mektab al Salafiyyah and Abu Khadija, then this is not a jarh that removes his adala and their adala, which is already established amongst the scholars of our time. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who cling on to the methodology of the Salaf and statement and action and belief and to give us ikhlas and the religion of Islam and to protect us from fitin, ma dhahara minha wa ma batin, that which is apparent from it and that which is hidden. And I ask Allah to make us from the ghuraba, the strangers, who have come 
with the praiseworthy description of the statement of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam بَدَأَ الْإِسْلَامُ غَرِيبًا وَسَيَعُودُ غَرِيبًا كَمَا بَدَأَ فَتُوبَ لِلْغُرَبَى That Islam started as something strange and it will return strange as, 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 it, as it began. So Tuba for the غُرَبَى سُبْحَانَكَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ عَمَّا يَسِفُونَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُ